my friends stand by me only if I'm right. I come out of triple darkness just to see the light. If I say it once, I guarantee I say it twice. If they know me, I ain't going out without a fight. In my dreams, I'm a killer with a gun, man. Try to play it cool, but it's getting hard, man. Rolling with the real and death to all the frauds, man. Not too many on me, yeah, it's kinda hard, man. In my room, sitting in my room. Know they waiting on me and I'm coming soon. Never been a sell, I've never been a coon. Y'all be on the camera acting. I'ma show them how I true it. Talking about self improvement and wellness for men and boys. And what are key things to keep in mind and consider? A, it's a really scary thing. You know what I mean? When 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 they tell you about cancer, so all these things are going in your mind, going through your mind. Like damn, well. <laughs> How long will I have, you know, to live? I'm very different than J-Mo. <laughs> you would have got all the chemo they hey, had. Hey, man. <laughs> Give me everything you got in that cooler in the back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take all that. Experimental drugs. You have self-awareness, right? Then you have to have self-diagnosis, right? You have to identify. It. And if you can't identify, hopefully you surround yourself with people, friends and family that's going to help you identify. It. And then you got to have a want to, right? So if you don't have those things, it don't really matter. We get well, the extensions, man. They just go I'm straight for the you. wig, fam. That's they just crazy. go straight for the wig. I'm to you. And I, so the what head I did was, because <laughs> I don't want to be drain. that dude, I said, let me go read about this. Right, right. Was this you know what I'm saying? AI generated? No, it was not. No, no. <laughs> but you got to do, I ain't bashing Let me AI. tell you another thing to do for, for <laughs> your own mental wellness and self-improvement. Stop reading articles that just come from the United States. Right. Because other people tell the truth more. Their media is low. Not all of them, but it'll be somewhere that you can go and find yeah. this article in some publication. But it, even, you know, there's a lot of examples of stuff like that. But I just the, the interesting thing is yeah. a lot of this stuff didn't start off like this, right? It started off, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Innocuous. What's the word? What's the word? Innocuous. Yeah. And so, for example, innocent. If, if, if we are. Uh, if we're back in the days, hundreds of years ago, and we're explorers and we got to take this ship across this journey, we got to be able to preserve some food some sort of way, right? And the earliest ones was through salt, right? And then, and then you develop ways so we can survive these trips, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and then you forward into <laughs> wars and how you gonna feed the troops, right? Because they can't get fresh food. So a lot of these things develop over history and, and using the war analogy, some people come home and have a taste for that type of stuff. Mm. You know, spam, that type spam. of stuff. Spam, chocolate, Can meat. chocolate you got excited Hershey when you said yeah. spam, John. Yeah, because like uh, <laughs> those are the things that are preserved that, that can feed people. So a lot of that stuff is a double-edged sword and because it can help sustain people to live, right? But then you develop a taste for that. And then that's when the economy thing, oh, we can make money off of this, you know? And so that's where the negativity come in, you know, because even, right? even, exactly, even with the uh, so-called pesticides, that sort of thing, right? Sure. So now we can maybe improve our crop from, you know, a thousand acres to 3,000, what have you. So now we're able to feed the world, you know, but the side effects from that. And then again, when money and greed gets into that and you ignore certain other things, so it can be done, right? But the cost effectiveness and the moneyness and the money, I'm sorry, cost effectiveness and the money involved makes it different. But now we're talking about convenience because everything isn't about what you're saying. That like, like, so necessity, they said the saying is necessity is the mother of wit. Right? You know mm. what I'm saying? So when you get wisdom, yeah. you got a need, wisdom coming to solve something. So for me yeah. to need salt to preserve to, okay, good. You need that. What we doing now, what's going on now though, is truly the, uh, solely the commercialization exactly. of it, right? That's and how it's transformed into convenience. Yeah, Rather yeah. Everything is, everything is about the convenience of making money to the detriment of the public. Right. Pretty much. Right. And then we just get addicted. Like you get addicted to salt. You get addicted to sugar. You get addicted to this lifestyle we have is a leading contributor. Let's talk about this. If I say, I, say if I say I want to have a wife, I want my son to have a wife. Hypothetical situation. I want my son to have a wife that doesn't work. Uh, or that works at home by choice because she's cool with that, not because yeah, yeah, yeah. saying you got to do it. Because I want to make sure our family has the healthiest scenario possible so that we can extend our lives and build this empire we're trying to build, right? I'm looked down upon if I say that right now, right? Yeah. But, but at the same time, that's the reason why 
our sisters or men that had a responsibility, we're not cooking every day because we got to we running around. So we, we not taking the time. With, and it's not a lot of time when you really do it. If you prepare, you got your stuff already out. You done done some chopping, all of that. We too busy, so it's just convenient. It's quick. I'm stressed out. I got to go here. I got to go there. So let me get two combos. Let me do this. Let me do that. Instead of making the real food. So really, we is the <laughs> real problem about our wellness is our inability to manage the emotion and ups and downs of our life. So we rely on convenience as a default to deal with our own pain. So we neglect things that we know is good for us. Right. And society's built in the way that you have to have two income. Yeah. Two income yeah, is working yeah, on. Both yeah. whether you want to do it or not, it's almost a necessity. And like you said, and now to keep you working full time, hey, we're gonna provide this food, we're gonna cut out this. Yeah. We're gonna take this time away from you wasting time, so called wasting time at home providing a good meal. So we can put we can get eighty hours a week, a hundred hours a week out of you two, rather than spend that time for you to be for your kids all the time, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. You know what I mean? How much that's it cost? How much yeah. do it cost? That's if, that's real. If if, if 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 my son gets that wife and she has the career and he ends up, he got his own. But I'm saying you end up eating healthy for years, and then at 41, you have a heart attack. Did it cost more for her to stay at home or for him to be gone in the biggest breadwinning years of his life? Mm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. You know? You know, as we when we we came up with these uh li- when we come up with the list of topics and um I just happened. Normally, I don't say anything, but the other day I was talking to Tracy and I was like, um, you know, we're going to talk about this food and eating mm-hmm. and all this stuff. And she was like, oh, my God. I said, I said, I know me and John going to get to arguing because <laughs> we disagree on making kids eat. You know what I mean? And uh, she was like, oh, that's so funny. She said, uh, she said, but she said, I remember the one time. The one time my dad smacked me in the face. She was like, he smacked me in my face and I'll never forget it because I didn't want to eat. Dang. He was like, and I don't like, if I didn't want to eat, why is he so upset? You know what I mean? She was like, he never hit her ever in life other than that day. And she was like, you know, and it just, and I said, well, maybe, you know, he might've been frustrated about something else. You know what (laughs) I mean? You know, it just happened to come out over eating, you know, but but I was gonna ask you guys, what's your position on making kids eat? You know, like you get a plate. Y'all know how we grew up. You get your plate, you eat everything on the plate. You gotta sit there till it's all gone, and when you when you finish, you can get up. That's how old and people if, did. And us. if you don't finish, you can't get up. And if you don't you finish, you can't get up. You sit at that table. Up. Yeah, I'm yeah. all for it. I took a couple, I like of, I took a couple I'll, of whippers because you end up getting that choice. Well, after you try to wait them out. Yeah. <laughs> like you end up getting that chest. Well, I tell you what, if you ain't eating, you should get a whip in there. I took a couple of L's on it over some spinach, man. Yeah. 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 Over I some L's man. over some spinach. I'll let John go because oh, no, need, we I'm need awful. a good argument. No, nah, I felt like that. <laughs> I said because, because we're supposed to instill lessons and discipline in our kids, right? In our children. And and what happens, and, and we quoted Uncle Ed, if you let a five year old make a decision, he'll make a five year old decision, right? And so uh, obviously I grew up with my mother and my grandmother. So I grew up with a lot of old school stuff, right? And so we didn't have a lot, but we had, we always ate. And so we always had a vegetable, meat and starch, old school. You had to sit there until your food was, was your plate was gone. But guess what? It was never a problem for me because I grew up on it and I loved it. You know what I mean? I don't care if it's beans or rice or greens. I grew up with it. And so when I see people- And they're supposed to like what you like. No. Are they supposed to like what we like? Yeah, kids. It, it, like hey, the that's, same. that's the only thing that they know and they'll like it. It's just like they give a baby. Oh, this baby don't like them bees. No, nah, that baby like them beans. And then next thing you know, they feeding them applesauce and juice all day because that's what they like. They getting them hooked on the sugar as an infant mm. because they like, oh, he, the baby he, he, he didn't go back to the gerb with apple juice. Ex- did he? Exactly. Yes, and so sir. next thing you know, <laughs> you seen Kool Aid in the bottle. Oh, that's what he like. <laughs> So you letting a uh, man, ten month old one of infant the make a decision? And it's it, teeth exactly. rotten and gums. So, bro, my cousin, without due respect, his mama didn't cook. But I grew up with my mama. We would go to our great grandparents' house, never forget, and we had some beans. I don't know if it was lima beans, black eyed peas, or whatever. Wow. But I grew up on them, and I liked them. And, and stewed tomatoes, right? <laughs> And he was like, I can't eat this, Grandma. And I'm like, Shit, this is good. <laughs> I grew up eating this. You know what I mean? But he had to stay there. 
And now, anyway, it, it was hilarious. We laugh and joke about it. But to the this bottom day. line is, your point is, well, you do believe in making them eat. You, you, what, what we doing is we're establishing healthy eating habits. You can't let somebody. I think you don't. Wait, op- I you don't. You don't wait. You don't wait until they're fifteen years old and possibly, try to eat right. You can possibly be doing the opposite. This, this is what I mean by that. What, what, Partially. This is what I'm when saying. When do you start well, no, healthy no. eating habits? Let me do this. Let me do this. Let me let me go back to Waki's question. <laughs> Because right now I'm responding. He started this. Look, <laughs> let me go back to his question. Because because what you're saying is a little different than what I'm getting at. I think the this is what happened with me. I think what I think it was Jeremiah. And he still to this day doesn't eat. Right? He's that one child. I'm like, he eat like a bird. I mean, it's like I don't get it. But he might be practicing one meal a day. Man. And, 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 and then I live, got a bro. nephew that's just like him. Looks twenty two. Right? Like, but I'm... this is this is the thing. So. <laughs> The doctor said to me he wasn't eating, right? And he was a kid. You know, you take your child to the doctor. You get any questions? See, he does. Like, he's not eating on the schedule. Like, he's not eating. He said, don't worry about it. He's an animal. All animals eat eat when they need to eat. Mm. That's what your doctor said. That's what he said. Pediatrician. Yeah. So that clicked with me because I said, that's true. If you hungry, you are going to eat. And at that point, you will not care if it's a lima bean, if that's the only thing that's there and all of that stuff, the right? So from that time, I sort of just backed potato. off of the little child <laughs> stuff. If they didn't want it, I was just cool with it. Now, you're not going back to choose what you want later. Right. But but if you just didn't want to eat, okay. So yeah. I'm not going to eat you If you're not hungry beans, for this good food, you're not hungry for some again? Doritos well, or whatever. Look, 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 if, I you say if I know you don't like green beans... And you just detest them. I'm not gonna make green make Listen, you eat green beans. The kid not grocery shopping. Yeah, we are. Right, they not grocery right. shopping. So you can establish everything you want when you go grocery shopping. What's in the house? Now he can have all whatever we done bought. That's what's available to him. That's Every what's day? available to him. So what he, we done bought. All right. Yeah. That's that's what's available to him. So if he don't want to eat it, don't eat it. So hold, hold, hold on. So so a five year old, whatever you buy, he can go into the refrigerator, go into the pantry, eat what he want, when he want, how he want. Yeah, I'm not so, talking about that. I, my mm. kids can. You oh no, I'm just saying. I don't. I don't. I'm not. Yeah, that's not what I'm talking about. No. Nah. I'm saying. <laughs> hey, go so, so it's available. There you go. The white is black. Yeah, dude, so you can just do whatever you want to do. I said eat whatever you want. I mean, I'm not saying you can eat whatever you want. Mad liberal. So so how does Uncle Ed's philosophy relate to what you're saying there? The five-year-old thing. I don't apply to that. He don't well, answer. No, he but said, no, you don't so apply it to it, but how does it relate to it? Well, I guess he's saying they're going to develop bad poor eating habits. And what I'm saying is, if I'm buying good stuff, it's only good stuff in here to eat. So if he got bad stuff in here to eat, it's because I done put bad stuff in this environment. So do you but, mind, so do you mind if he wake, so, just wake up at 1 o'clock in the morning and go in there and eat the cookies? Cause sometimes you buy some Bro, cookies in the I, I don't care. Stuff. I don't care. Okay. He can go in there yeah. and eat the so cookies then, if so he wants to. So then, what you're accepting then is you accepting to stand by the five year philosophy in one area, but ignore it in another area. Absolutely, because okay. because everything not everything don't apply to everything. <laughs> How does it not apply? It, because if it you doesn't eating, apply because listen. it's your preference to want to let them eat what they want to eat. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Well, okay. What are we trying to avoid here? We're talking about health. Eating healthy. Right. Well, so you're saying your son yeah. can eat ice cream and Oreos and cereal and be and live to be 90 years old, 100 years old. Is that <laughs> Do is, you want your about son to have your palate? Since we no, talk about five right. year old, he got a five year old palate. No, at, four, at 52, do you want him to have your palate? I don't. I don't okay. want him to have my palate. Absolutely but, not. I, I and, like I, and I hope they don't. But but I'm not dictating. What I you hope mean. you don't, but you can get it if you want to. I, I, think, you want to. I think what my yeah, brother's saying is ridiculous. Um, I mean, I, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not so, I'm not so driven as John, but at the same time, like we made food, you know, I don't want you to just pick over your food. Right. And I know you might not have a problem with that, but I do. We're not, we don't have a, we're not in poverty no more. Why are we worried about them wasting? That, that is know. a scarcity problem. Yeah. We're discussion. not in poverty no more. Why are we worried? You I, ain't eat all your food. That's crazy to me. I don't, I don't care if we ain't in poverty. But what I don't want you to do is is waste it because I might want to eat it. Then you should have got some what you wanted when you I, made it. I did. Okay, I then why you worry about what he eating? I, I might want to eat some more. 
Then get some more. Don't eat his. I don't think it's about. I don't think it's I'm about. Saying, this, this is the waste thing for me. So the scarcity. This is the thing. We come from a scarcity mindset. Absolutely. As a people, right? Absolutely. We had scarce resources. So Absolutely. you better not waste nothing. Correct. Because you don't yeah. know when the next thing is coming. Right. Correct. Like, that's real talk. That's right. You better eat I, this because I you don't know when you're going to get some food again. Now, now what we're dealing with, the remnants of that is we had the scarcity mindset. But Waukee, the, the difference is there's nothing wrong with teaching that it is important to manage resources responsibly in your life. And food is a resource, right? And so we don't have unabated access and usage of typically any resource, or we don't usually give our children unabated access to any resource in that. We sort of manage access to things, right? For, to different things, whether it's a game or anything. So my only thing that what you're saying is, if we want them to get to the place where you're saying, I don't want them to have those habits, it seems like you're willing to take the gamble of letting their journey be whatever it is. And John is saying, I want to, imp John is one impacting the journey on the two extreme way, but he wants to impact the journey, in my opinion. I was joking. I'm, I'm, I'm but but two that. extreme means I'm and, not going to tell you, you're going like, to eat this lime of bean today. I'm and not And I doing feel that. like I'm impacting the journey by what I bring into the house. That's how I'm impacting the journey. That's how, I, when but I'm. But are you bringing into the house? Come on, bro. So now we're talking about No, that's how I'm impacting the journey. Why can't you got the most snacks out of everybody? <laughs> I do. You do. I can't can you to stay in my, my snack son, I'm, to this, I'm, I'm looking at my son in my head, crawl on his damn feet, <laughs> and going your little snack corn on the bottom left in the kitchen. <laughs> and he ain't talking about, it's in the house. Yeah, he can eat whatever. I brought it. <laughs> you know, bro, yeah, I'm all the sugar hey, shit hey, he was listen, talking about. You understand? That's, that, that's, that's a trauma thing. That's, that, hey, that's, that's for that, you, Uncle Mike. Yeah. 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 And it, and it, and it is. It is a trauma yeah. thing. Yeah. Because I'm yeah, like, yeah. nah, man. I, I told you, my wife when we move when we move together. I'm like, yo, we are never going to run out of something to drink in this house. Never. Ever. Cause I remember plenty of times when I ain't had nothing to drink. Hold on, That's hold on. What's something man. you What's mean Kool-Aid? Kool you mean Kool-Aid though? Define you mean something other than water, right? <laughs> something other than water. Water ain't nothing to drink. <laughs> water ain't nothing to drink. <laughs> water ain't nothing to drink. <laughs> to you. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought at the time, man. No, I'm talking about when I laid I know, down man, this room. This is you know only I mean? two two weeks ago, right? Oh, two months. Okay. Two months. All I right. changed two months ago. <laughs> All right. No, hey, for real though. Like I, I'm just like, nah, man. I, I just, hey, they'll, hey, and, if I teach you right, it's important to be healthy and give you the good information. Hopefully, you make good choices. What but a, I ain't gonna make you make them. So if you seven, now when it comes to food, if you seven and you come down, I said every morning. And eat them damn Oreo cookies. Just make sure you cat. brush your teeth. Just brush your teeth. Brush and your then, teeth because it, it's going to damage your teeth. Then, then, then if you happen to be, and let's say it was me, you got my chubby little son of your son sitting up in the doctor. They talking about he obese and got diabetes, diabetes at 10. You're going to be like, damn, man, I guess you made the wrong decision. No. Nah, <laughs> eight years right. old. Right, right, right. <laughs> and, 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 Once again, <laughs> I made the choices I for him when I bought it in the house. And, and, and this so I'm going to make sure he outside, he active, we he playing sports, utopia. he losing weight and yeah. all that yeah. stuff. But you yeah. still do all right. that and still be and, diabetic. That's what we did. I'm and saying, but is, you still can be a diabetic. And it ain't got nothing to do with what you eat. I don't know all about you can. Yeah. Ju I actually said it yeah, wrong because exactly. juvenile is doesn't have anything. But going going back to the five year old, make a five year old decisions. Now, when we say that, I love that quote. But we don't. That don't mean we don't let our five year old make a decision because we teach our children to make a decision from day one. But but we give them five year old decisions, right? So your decision may be like, hey, you want like green beans or you want spinach, right? But if they grow up from babies eating Fruit Loops or, or, or Fruity Pebbles, okay. That's not a decision, you know what I'm saying? So, so allow them to make those little decisions earlier, but give them all win-win-win choices. The good choices. decisions were win, win, always win in my house. We got plenty of fruit and plenty of junk. Plenty of fruit and plenty of junk in my house. Plenty of good stuff to drink, plenty of terrible stuff to drink. The terrible <laughs> you, stuff is it, for it, me. It is every man for himself. The terrible <laughs> stuff is for me. Yeah. I hope so y'all make better what decisions. I get, what Thank I get, God what for what Tracy. Is, I'm not, <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. saying, I'm not with the... Uh, <laughs> All right, we made lima beans today, and I know you don't like lima beans, but you got to eat lima beans today. I'm not with that, but this is what I'm saying, though. But I am with you need a green because green has vitamin A and K, and you need a green thing. So you going there is a green that you like that I know we have to. Yeah. We, well, my wife knows. I'm saying I. Ah, she did most of it. That that we gonna prepare for. And, this, and she, some people will say I'm not gonna be a short order cook. 
Right. It, but don't right. make stuff for people that you know they're not they're gonna not eat. Right, but this right. is <laughs> abusive to me. But this is another thing about gratitude and being grateful. And you know, again, I grew up with my mother and my grandmother. Man, like you say, we not a short of the cook. Okay, pizza for you, chicken for you, pork chop for you, spinach for you, broccoli for you. Nah, listen, this is what we're cooking tonight. Okay, it might not be your favorite, but now you're not being grateful for not doing that. You know, for not have enjoying this meal. But why did meal. you only buy lima beans that you know they don't like? If you got but, the but, money. But what if four other people like it? And you the only one who don't like it. So then when you don't leave them alone. I don't want the lima beans. Well, well give them everything else. Alone. Give them everything else except the lima beans. That's, All the other food. Right, right. Well, if you hey, don't eat the lima I, beans, What I'm saying is I'm not substituting donuts or cereal for the lima beans. Right. Oh, I that, got, that's I not, yeah. I'm not going to allow you to go get some Fritos. And oh, no, 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 no. I don't think anybody going to hear that kind of quick story. You know, I'm athletic director at Peabody, right? And I know we going long, but this was just funny. Um, and I was in charge of the snacks. <laughs> oh, All right? my God. So <laughs> I had Doritos, Oreos, <laughs> Fritos, Funyuns, all kinds of stuff. Everything right? you ate. <laughs> That's exactly the point. Like, oh, so right. So what? So what we dreamed of? One of the one of the five year old palate. One of the parents came up to me. Right. The one of the parents came up and was like, "Um, Coach Joaquin, we we like to talk about something." I said, "Sure. What, what, what's up?" She said, "Um, do you think we could get some better snacks for the kids?" <laughs> I said, no, nah, we ain't going to get no better snacks for the kids. She said, why not? I said, because when they don't eat them all, I buy what I eat. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is the B2 info. This is what I eat. You was trying to eat. You was that saying, these are good snacks. These are real Doritos. These real Fritos. <laughs> <laughs> these are not generic uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. triangle like rounds or whatever. <laughs> nah, I snacks. buy what I eat. If I buy that good stuff, I don't eat that. Then they're going to have it hey, left bro. over. Hey, bring I, it. I, yeah, still, yeah. I still think it's about gratitude. And even if it's something simple as spaghetti. If you don't like spaghetti, guess what? If you don't eat spaghetti, you might eat nothing tonight. And because we're going to share this together as a family. And we're so blessed today where we do have options. But it's still hard. So to you eat. get a punishment because you didn't want to eat spaghetti. <laughs> you must not be hungry. You must not. Because I ain't going to give you nothing that's going to make you sick. Hey, Joe. I ain't going to give you nothing that make you sick. Do you uh, eat stuff and, you don't like now? And, and, if I go to your house. That's no, a good no, question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, right like, now. Like, if I no, go right to your house, today, I'm going to tell you. Do you choose on a daily basis to eat stuff that you I'm, don't like to I'm going to tell you. When I go to your house. And your cooking may not be the best, unless it tastes like it's rotted or spoiled. <laughs> I think I'm insulting the cook. That's a different point. No, 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 yeah, no that's a totally different point. point. Yes, it is. If I don't like it, I'm gonna eat it. Let me let me ask you this: you So, house, if uh, with the whole spaghetti thing, if they said they didn't want to eat spaghetti, would you be okay oh. if they went and made themselves a sandwich or whatever to eat or something like that? Sandwiches for lunch. Uh, again. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. right. <laughs> Sandwiches <laughs> for lunch. <laughs> you ain't gonna eat no peanut butter and jelly for dinner? Yeah. I'm saying uh, that. So again, you're not like that, are you? Well, you talked about yes. what, do, what do I uh, buy? What uh, do I buy, right? I buy what I like, this, that, the other. That goes back into the choice. Uh, let's just use the green choice. You like kale or you want spinach, right? I'm giving you two win win options. I don't want neither <laughs> so, one. But, but if you grew up on that, you'd like, well, I find something that you like. No, I grew up on chicken livers and. Potato sure, soup, and yeah. I don't want no parts. I did say Chicken that as a child. You said it was spaghetti. It was, it was oh, okay. Enough. I'm saying in that case, when everybody, it's a family of five, and your wife cooks spaghetti today, and this child don't like spaghetti. I'm saying, all right, look, and, this and, is me. And if, so, I, if me and my, and my wife shops or I shop or whatever, right? Well, this is what I'm saying. I, as an adult, if you just think about you being a single adult, and we, we, you a single adult, well, you generally going to buy what you like to eat, what you like to eat, right? When you get a family, you buy. When you get married, you buy what you like to eat, and you also begin to get things your wife likes to eat. So now in the house, you got stuff that you like to eat. Yeah, some yeah. things your wife like to eat. We talking about then purpose. when you get a child, now we got to start getting stuff children like to eat or the children eat. Correct. Why is the child excluded from getting food to eat that they like that you don't like? That's all. That's my only question about what you're saying. Again, we all have preferences. Right? I, but I, but I think he, he's I think he's he's with the fact that you should be able to influence what they like. Right. 
and that and he's again, I think he's operating from that. that the child you had going back. But I'm, I'm going thinking he's a, he's, he's 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 operating from that. Why is it ungrateful if they don't like to eat something? If you invite me over your house, we like, we talking about no, your no, house, no, no. your kid. If you invite me to your house, he's and, going. And he's gonna stay there. He no, not, no. And, and you say uh, you invite me over for turkey <laughs> Thanksgiving dinner. And I went and bought me something with me. Oh, yeah, if you don't good. like it, I'm not offended, bro. If you don't like what I got at my house, I'm not oh, offended. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, he'll tell me. Bring, so, so move, bring, bring what, what you like to eat, cuz. Right. We ain't gonna have none of that at Yeah, 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 that's what I tell him. You coming over here, you better bring that funny stuff with you. you better, well, I don't, <laughs> look, this is what I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand why John keeps going back to if I go to your house, we we'll be pushing them on. Okay. His house. And his kid. Yeah, like, like you said, we're not a short order cook. This is not a restaurant where you go, I want this, 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 this. But you be As a, a family you unit, being a dictatorial just like, cook. No, because you are going to get your way on Tuesday or Wednesday, whatever. You're going to get your favorite. So you, you're going to know you the, might get everybody your favorite in the today. house got a day where they not, don't like shit. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you that ungrateful, so so you saying Yo, how, many, grateful. how many brothers don't you got? Like it. <laughs> no, no, no. How many brothers you got? Three brothers. And a sister, right? Yeah. So how many? What's that? So it's five of y'all. Uh-huh. Right? And so your mama got to worry about pleasing, making you happy, you happy, you happy, you happy, you happy. That's mm -hmm. not fair to her. She busting her ass working all day long. You don't like this, you don't like that, you don't like that. Now you're being ungrateful. Nobody that's, asked no, no, that's the mama what to cook five meals. That, that's Nobody exactly what you're asking. No, I don't like not. this, mama. I don't like that. I don't. It exactly. And these no, kids are. Uh, it, don't, what are you, just, that's you what you said. Don't like I don't it, like don't it. it. So they should cook some. So they should cater being to you. The whole meal they don't like. No, right, that's let me say. Let me so say this. They don't like the chicken. No, they don't bro. like the green bean. They yeah. don't like the rice. Right, that, that's what I'm saying. It's something they like that's yeah. even made that, though. Like, exactly. That's what what. That's happened. an extreme. Just to make it's, your no, point. No, it's not the extreme. It is. Ain't nobody cooking five let, meals. Let me say nobody this. Nobody asking a parent you, to cook five meals. Nobody asking. Well, what that. are you asking? If they don't want something, they ain't got to eat it. That's all we saying. Okay, they don't have to eat it. Okay, but they're not going to. But you said earlier you was all for making them eat. But let me ask you. Yeah. Okay, you said that earlier. I'm all for making them eat. I'm not gonna force food physically down their throat. We well, you know, <laughs> but you gonna there you go with an extreme. You gonna eat this? Ain't nobody or not. saying <laughs> water bottle. Hey, look. <laughs> hey, look. All right, let me ask you this. But in terms of this is what John said, the gratitude piece. We're gonna have to continue that on another episode. I don't see that. I mean, I get the appreciating what you got and all that, right? But this is this is this is the thing I want to ask about in relation to what you're saying. So we trying to you trying to force responsible eating habits. If I eat every time food is just there that somebody presents to me because I'm being grateful, I could be overeating. And, and, oh, and again, when I say- That's hey, real talk, right? And, and bro, when I say- huh? for real, <laughs> let me just say this. How many times we done ate and you come home and your wife done cook? You better not say you're not going to eat. Yeah, right. She oh, done oh. cook. Uh, I, oh, can, I, can tell cook. My, I can tell my wife I ain't eating. No, no. So why no, she no. Well, said your house? You said huh? tell yeah, that's that's that, yeah, that's that's that's, 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 that's yeah. an affront to your wife. Why is what? it on the front? He don't want to eat it. Now it's in the front. No, yeah. I'm just saying. I I'm, I I would eat it. No, why would you eat it? I, because I'm, you because, saying the same thing I would because, say. Because, I just said because I know she'll be disappointed because she put that Boom. much work into it. Exactly. She'll be disappointed. Exactly. And so I'm gonna eat. What's wrong with that? Because you acknowledge exactly the I principle he's you, making. You're, saying you're the same accepting. Thing I'm but, accepting. But, but his wife yeah. ain't forcing him to yeah, eat it if wife, he didn't want to yeah, eat it. Yeah, my wife though. not gonna make me eat it. She's not making him eat it, but the, but, the but expectation and the fear of disappointing her is forcing him to eat it. Right, right, but right. we talking about right, making right. kids do something. Yeah. I mean, she's not gonna make me eat. I'm just eating. She it is gonna make you eat. No, she's not gonna don't make you eat. Don't eat it then. Then why right. you gonna eat it then? Right. Don't eat it. You say I'm, you better not. I'm, then right. then what happens Listen. if you don't eat it? What you mean? What, what happens? Don't nothing happen. But then why are you eating it if you ain't? Because I want her to know how much I appreciate her effort. So what happens if she thinks you don't appreciate her effort about the food? She ain't gonna cook ain't for you no more. Gonna happen. Not she, yeah, <laughs> ain't nothing gonna happen. She ain't cooking later that. Ain't nothing gonna week. happen. It is. Don't eat where you ain't. Don't eat where you ain't from. Get, this all, this all I'm saying. You gonna stop cooking for you? <laughs> right, right. Oh, I thought you might have. That's the threat. Yeah, exactly. My, my whole, exactly. my whole, my whole thing was, whatever my wife cooked, I eat. Right, and and I used to only eat a certain amount of veggies. Right mm -hmm. now, whatever veggies she, whatever veggies she she cooked, I eat. I try. I taste. I extended my palate. Right. But to your point, if if I already ate and I come home and she cooked, I'm like, well, baby, thank you so much for cooking. 
I'm not going to eat tonight. Put it up. That don't mean I'm not going to eat the food, period. Eat it tomorrow. Put it up. Later you got on. your feelings. And that's it. Not your <laughs> now, I, I didn't know Tracy made him eat. No, that's <laughs> like a, I'm just kidding. But anyway, now, that's and, and, it. And, and let me just say this. And I think I kind of misled it because in, in our house, we sit down at the table and we eat together. It's not like I'm just going in there and making a plate. So when I say I eat, I'm not, it's not about the food. It's what I know she wants us to have our routine of sitting down at the table and doing so that together. you're not going to miss dinner. Right, right, exactly. Right, right, so right, that's, right. so, so that, I kind of said that in, in a, incorrectly when I when I made well, that point. Sit down with 32 cookies. I do. <laughs> okay. I do. No. <laughs> I do. Now, anyway, bro, right, and I'm, and I'm we got to wrap it. Because in the spirit of Thanksgiving in a few weeks, right? And so when you grow up but not without a whole lot of money and finances, Making food and showing food is an expression of love. And all uh, my grandmother did was cook and clean for rich white folks in the area. And uh, bring, we always ate good. Might have been cold a few times, but we always ate good. And so I never forget uh, Jean Washington, dead and gone, but she was, she was besides my grandparents, she was a matriarch of the family. We used to throw a wonderful Christmas party. And we would always spend up that time, you know, eating and, and preparing a big meal. And we loved it. Mm -hmm. You know, they didn't have a whole lot to give us, but we understand that that was how they showed their love. Right. You know, because Through that's food. what they could do. And one of the best things, man, that when I became an adult and I was making some money and I was able to like, hey, here, what's this for? This for that big Christmas dinner you do every year. You mm, know what I mean? Right. I've been eating here my whole life for that Christmas Eve dinner. And so now I'm thankful to be able to contribute, you know, right. to that. And I know how much love and effort and energy went into that. And that's why I'm saying it's, it's almost disrespectful to not enjoy that. You know, and because that's all they have to give, and I'm going to accept that gift. But that. aren't there ways to make that happen? And and, and like sometimes I, I get like, uh, listen, man, I, I'm sitting here remembering going to my aunt's house. R.I.P. Rest in power to my aunt, man. And it was something that I didn't want. Man, listen, you're not gonna keep talking about the cooking of your aunt and mom and things. Hey, like show like that. <laughs> No, I'm not going to lie, Miss Carolyn. No, tell him no. When did I say something about my mama? Okay, 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 okay. Hold okay. on, right. did I say something? Now, you didn't say it he directly. He making that up, You man. didn't say it directly. You didn't say it what directly. What is he talking about? When I said it was something I didn't want, the spinach? You ain't even finished saying it. Go ahead, go okay. ahead. Let's talk about your aunt. Talk about my your aunt. mom, though, she would call. I could call her right now. She know I didn't like that spinach. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey look, that soup. I ate some hey, of your soup if you ain't already know it. I just started. I just started. I told her. I told her I gave you the soup. I did you. Hey, look, I just started eating spinach again as an adult after I got married because of it. But mm. what I'm saying is, no, y'all remember back in the days, the chopped spinach? Yeah. yeah. I was good with the chopped spinach. You could put a little vinegar on it. Like it that was long, that slimy. Like, oh, yes! <laughs> that seaweed. spinach. That long, and slimy I don't know, seaweed. I don't know what spinach I'm talking about. <laughs> that was the opposite. It was I was like, like frozen box. I hated yeah. that spinach. Yeah. That's the spinach I'm talking that about. Was yeah. 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 That was the worst. Yeah. That was the worst. Look as big as I am, me and my brothers, bro. She, my mom could do it. Right. And but that one time I was at a relative's house and didn't want something. And they put it on my plate. And I was <laughs> I was probably like seven, eight. I just had this memory and I didn't say nothing, man. And I ate it, right? Uh -huh. And I just remember being within myself on the inside. Uh huh. <laughs> just crying. <laughs> I just heard it in your oh voice. Uh, oh, he went back. So the trauma. <laughs> And I was like, why do somebody got to experience that? Because of some grown-up's ego about their cooking. Right. That's some bullshit, man. Right. <laughs> now, I am grateful. I I'm think so for the first time we're experiencing so, Corey's trauma. So yeah, right, right. Look, I was just hey, about to say. Hey, I'm so grateful to be in your home. <laughs> but I just don't like this shit. I mean, I just don't like this shit. But, uh, uh that's, that's, that's a... That's real. It Amen. is, man. But I, but but that's again. I'm trying to figure out the connection between what John is saying and just bad eating. Like I like what he's saying in terms of you got to establish some expectations you around do. regularity you do. around healthy eating and the food choices you do. you're making. But some of the stuff I think we bring back from that old when we didn't have that scarcity mindset, and we force some things that we really to me it's just a simple decision. I'm at the store, you know, I'm buying. I got four kids, say for example, I'm buying a pound of green beans. Corey and Rodney don't like green beans. They like uh, broccoli. I'm gonna get a pound of broccoli and a pound of green beans. Both of them just boiling in some water. I mean, it's not like they cooking five different, that's all I'm talking about. Right. It's like there's some flexibility in your management of the menu 
to try as best you can, even when you have meager resources, to generally keep people in the ballpark of what you know they'll eat. You know what I'm saying? Man, you know what? Oh, I, no, I was just going to say a, a big part of it really is is the, the trauma, the food trauma. Uh huh. You know, and I know for me personally, um, I was I was always, you know, like in my house growing up, you know, if we had cookies, the rule was you can't have a three. All right. You can't have a three. <laughs> I was disgusted with that, bro. I was absolutely was disgusted yeah, with that, bro. You have a budget, man. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, I was disgusted with that rule. Hey, man, they were teaching and, you portion control, man. Well, yeah. well that's true. Well, when, when I got true. when I got old enough and I want to eat the whole all of them, that's what I did. Right. And so and therefore nobody, now, so therefore now when we do a September overindulging. food challenge, you got to stop eating cookies. The, exactly. That's exactly yeah. right. And that's why you don't let the five-year-old come Make, downstairs and get cookies yeah. whenever you want. Hey, no, uh, it was the restriction of it that caused the problem. <laughs> that's why I'm letting him do it when he wants to. Uh, that's how I saw it. It was the restriction. Uh, Same hey. thing. We get a watermelon. All the old heads, they cut the watermelon. They got piece this big and give us a little slice I can see through. I'm like, that's some bullshit. <laughs> that's some bullshit. So now... As a grown up, when I get a watermelon, I cut that joker in half. There's you eat half, I'm gonna eat the other half. <laughs> yeah, I don't care how big a piece I you get. And you up. can come back and yeah. eat it all as far as I, I care. But what you being greedy, you can't John, how many times wow. your grandma make a cake, right? Yeah. Make a cake, the and cake you, you tell a story. What oh, happened? Oh, oh so my, my grandma, nah, a phenomenal cook. <laughs> make a beautiful cake, right? <laughs> Pie, but most of the time it was a cake of sweet potato pie. Cut a slice of that thing. Why you cut that damn? I just made it still hot. That's why I cut it, because it was still hot, right? Two days later, the cake gone, pie gone. Oh, y'all to ate my damn pie. Y'all to ate my cake. Well, it was good. Then they make another one. Don't touch it, because I'm going to get chastised. You know what I mean? I'm like, all right. Cake molded. Y'all ought to let that damn cake get molded. You know what I mean? And Ain't said, no way. Yeah, I said, OK, so now if I'm damn if I do, damn if I don't. I'm going to get fussed at with a full stomach of cake of pie. <laughs> there you go. There you go. But, you learn. But, but, you know, again, as you get older, right, it's no different than, let's use a cookie analogy. I use it for snacks with my kids. If we get you a pack of cookies, you can have cookies. I'm going to give you 30 cookies. I suggest you get three cookies a day because I ain't buying cookies again for 10 more days. So if you choose to eat all these 30 cookies at once, or you can eat three a day, two a day, five one day, however you want it. But that's how life works. If you don't I have agree an unlimited with supply 1, of anything. And you still have to be able to budget. You have to be able to distribute equitably. You know what I mean? Whatever, your food, money, et cetera. You can have dessert every day, but you can't have 20 cookies. Or if the day you want to eat 20 cookies, go for it. But you're going to go a week or so without cookies at all. I want to so make, you make the decision. I got to say, though. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You finish. Back to Waukee thing. The big watermelon. Cut it in half. Darius, you have half. I have half. Yeah. Why do I why do you, why, why why is the emphasis putting on like What's almost like you, you got to eat watermelon in one setting? Well, what he say overindulging uh, about cookies oh, yeah, and yeah, watermelon. Yeah, he know he going to eat that piece anyway. And That's my thing is, is <laughs> why do you have to put emphasis on it when the food is here and you can just go and get it as you please? Why no, do we no, have no. to eat it in one setting? No, he didn't have to eat it all. Yeah, I'm he didn't say that. He, yeah, he at just at this point, he eat it like I eat it. So I know now. You ain't chosen one setting. Yeah, he going to eat his in one setting. <laughs> Like, that's how we eat it now. Carl and Tracy don't even want none. So okay. it's just for me and Darius. But I remember a lot of it, you know how we, is when you get married, you got to blend cultural and family norms and all that stuff. I remember, I remember when the first time I went to my wife's house for oh, dinner. Oh. All right. First of all, everybody's sitting down at a huge dining room table. Look like chair the back, last supper. Chair backs up to here. You know what I mean? Like. Fancy. Big table, dining room, all this, everybody sitting down to eat. And when I sit down at the table, I look at the food, and I'm thinking to myself, I could eat everybody's plate. This is not enough. <laughs> <laughs> they got juice glass this big, a little bit of food. Man, I'm telling you, and I look around my wife, she 100 pounds, Travis 120, Tim 130. You know what I mean? Everybody yeah. slim as I don't know what, right? And I'm like, dude, this is not enough food. What is this? My wife was like, what you talking? I was like, I ain't saying nothing at the time, but afterwards, I'm like, I, that wasn't nearly enough. <laughs> <laughs> Reverse it. She come to my house for, for dinner, with Granny's house. She come to Granny's house. Kai and Maine, you know, they, they, they seven years old. 
She look at that plate. They got a pile of food <laughs> like this. They got chicken. Where they and sitting potato. at, boy? Oh, they sitting on the floor. They sitting, on, <laughs> they sitting <laughs> all over the place. They on the couch. They in front of the TV. And all these little kids. She was like, those little kids got all that food. They got a big gulp cup size of, of, of juice. And they wonder why ain't, ain't nothing tomorrow. Yeah, we done, we done ate it all. Yeah, it ain't mm -hmm. gone today. Yeah, figure out the mouth. Yeah, 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 all the juice we, gone. We, we, we gotta go, gone. we gotta pray. But but, <laughs> but like how we how you blend that, you know? Because I'm like, what you talking about? This ain't enough food. Man, she we like that's way need too much. Like two more episodes. Right, right, we ain't right. done. But look, check this out. The, so just in terms of the what's our takeaways though, man? We it's we cover so much, but I think some takeaways are is that we, what we gotta figure out is what's the sweet spot between yeah creating reasonable food expectations My way and, his way and providing some choice that allows children to not be traumatized by eating something that the parent and them know they don't like. And in the interest, all of this is in the interest of keeping children in the pathway of self-improvement over the course of their lives and incorporating good habits into their lives and toward us managing so we don't get down the road and I'm still at the age I am, managing weight. Yeah, right. I think we all yeah. agree on eating to live, right? And and, and, and not and, living to eat. Exactly, yeah. and not living to eat, and then we're trying to start that as early age as possible. Right. And uh, obviously identifying how we grew up mm -hmm. and, and trying to recreate the blessings that we grew up with and correct yeah. the, uh, the curses or imbalances and negative things that we didn't grow up with. I got one last question before we get out of here. Okay. Or one statement announcement I'm gonna make. The next cookout I have, man, y'all let me know what y'all want. You eat whatever the hell I cook. <laughs> it's the B2M crew. Take us out of here, watch it. Oh, my gosh. It is easier to raise strong children than to repair broken men. Peace. We out of here. Peace. Hey, I'm I won't stop until I'm winning, 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 winning. winning. I'm going to show them how true and independent get it. Whole game changed by the time I finish with it. We about to get this business handled in a minute. And I won't stop until I'm winning, 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 winning. They don't want me in the office.